Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jita, and I'm back with another review. This time I have SH Figure Arts Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron Black Widow figure. Here's Black Widow, and before we look at Black Widow, let's take a look at the box. As she comes in, it comes in a nice windows display clamshell box. Um, probably shot of Black Widow on the front. Black Widow symbol, Black Widow right there. Another probably shot of Black Widow. And more probably shots of Black Widow, her molding movable parts and option parts. On the side, another probably shot of Black Widow on the top, Black Widow, Avenger symbol, Black Widow on the bottom, and that's it for the box. Also, with your Black Widow, you get a bunch of accessories. She comes with her little uh, shimmer sticks uh, a la Nightwing that have supposed to be blue to get that electrified look of it. Uh, doesn't really work for me. I wish it would be a, like a lighter shade of blue, but um, the coloring on, on, on it seems to match her her uniform. So I'm not sure it's like a depowered look or what. So that's that. She comes with two pistols. They are or that are identical. Right there, Very nice. She comes with two relaxed hands comes with two I guess like get your hand on the ground touchdown hands I love spider-man comes with two holding hands for the shimmer sticks and she comes with two pistol hands I also got the instruction sheet to tell you about the hands and how to replace them out and how to interchange the hands with the weapons Now back to the featured figure, Black Widow. And you can see she looks pretty nice. Um, it does look like Scar Joy Hansen. At certain angles, it does not. It looks like a weird um, Scar Joy Hansen, but for the most part, it looks just like her. Like this little digital paint job they got going on with his this figure. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera, but it, it looks very good. Kind of like a uh, a portrait, if I can say that. Looks very nice. Uh, hair looks good. Got a little bit of shading going on in it. Very nice. Good look at the outfit. Looks good, just like the movie. Nice detail. The paint looks good for, well, for the most part. You can see a little bit of sloppage of the paint right there. Not in the lines. A little bit, but not bad. Not bad. Not that bad. And the Black Widow booty, which not does not look very really accurate at all. And it looks good. You see some glossy paint. Um, in the middle of the outfit is that uh, gunmetal gray. And then like it got like another shade of gray going down the sides and stuff. Then you got this black right here, like on her, her calves and stuff. So it kind of um, transitions down to black. Um, she does have a molded on holster. Unfortunately, it's just molded on. It's not an actual holster. You can't hold the guns on there, which is very disappointing. That's one thing I did not like about the Marvel Legends figure, that you cannot pull the guns out the holster. And she has these little doodads on her belt and stuff, which are movable. They are on a, a ball peg from her belt. I'm not sure you can take them. Oh, he can not pop them off. Like so, and just pop them back on. And it comes with a little dagger knife that she used in the, um, the first Avengers movie. Right there, she only has one of them. And that's about it. Got her little stingers around her wrist. And uh, the maroon paint looks real good. The only one that's really touch and go is the, uh, the blues. In her chest, one thing I noticed about her chest, like it goes down to a plunging neckline and stuff like that. It doesn't really show any like, I'm not trying to sound perverted or nothing like that, but cleavage and stuff. It looks kind of off. It doesn't look right for some reason to me. So that's another thing. Let's go ahead and get to articulation. Articulation. Her head is on a, it's like a ball hinge, so she can look up, but pretty good much even with the hair. And can't look down, and her neck is also articulated. Also, uh, not very much articulated. It does move, but it's very stiff. 
So, and she can go uh, tilt side to side, look left and right. Uh, arm articulation is very disappointing. She rotates, at, goes around, and it goes out. Very much like the um, DC Collectibles Batman animated series figures. It goes out like this. So when you try to get her pointed straight, she can't go out to the side, which is not good. Even with these, this shoulder joint right here, which goes in and out, it collapses in and out, but it's still, but it's the way her, way her chest is sculpted. It seems like it doesn't, it makes her arm just sticks out. It can't get her pointing straight forward from this motion right here. And it goes out the shoulder about that much. And like I said, she has like a inward butterfly for her shoulder, which really doesn't do anything because she still can't get it pointed straight forward. I guess it helps a little bit, but no, no you know, yeah, it doesn't really like it helps at all to me. Uh, no bicep rotation was disappointing, but kind of none familiar to us doing with Marvel Legends figures. Bends at the elbow a little bit more than 90 degrees, which is nice. Um, rotates at the elbow a little bit. It's very stiff and it gets kind of, it's hindered because of this um, elbow pad. The molding from the elbow pad kind of uh, hinders it. Kind of, kind of, you try and rotate it and it kind of feels like you're stressing the joint and stuff, but it's very, actually being blocked by this um, elbow pad. Which is kind of dis disappointing. Not kind of, it is disappointing. Uh, flexes at the wrist. Rotates at the wrist. Diaphragm joint, it does rotate. Uh, you can go left and right. Not very much so. But I guess that's okay. It goes, yeah, it goes left and right a little bit. Not very much, but she does rotate at the waist a little tiny bit to give you a little bit more rotation, but eh, it's kind of kind of not there. Can't go back at the diaphragm, can't crunch forward, uh, can't crunch forward at the waist, go back at the waist, which is okay. Uh, leaning back like this, you still get that sculpt right there. And then you see how it goes from the back, you still get the sculpt going on back there, which is nice. Um, also want to paint on that get a little texture design going through the middle of the, the gun metal gray is it so that looks very nice also belt looks pretty good uh, nicely painted the widow sign her belt buckle looks pretty good uh, paint looks okay for the most part not great but it's okay uh, her hips I can't really tell if it's on that I don't think it is on that that cut that bring down a uh, wide joint like it is it does comes down a little bit and you can go her legs come out like so it doesn't go straight out as you would like it to do but it does go out like that uh, goes out to the side very well and you can go backward about that much um, a little bit of rotation at that upper groin bends the knee double bend more than nine degrees which is nice no knee rotation, no boot rotation. Uh, ankle tilt a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, it does have an ankle tilt. Let's see that or not. Let's have an ankle rocker. But it's kind of weird. It comes out like, like that. So, sorry, down. She does stand on her own, as we saw before. So you can't adjust that ankle rocker to get her to stand and stuff like that. She does have a toe joint, which is a crazy because she got these heels on or wedges, what you want to call it. So like like so. And that is about it for articulation. And popping out her hands just like any other figure arts figures, pop off the little ball joint, which is very small. Be careful about that. Don't break it. And we got her stick holding hand. Huh, gee, a little stiff. And take a stick. Put it in her hand like so, and she holds it. She holds it, she holds it. Voila. 
So you hold that, and you can take the find the gun holding hand from which side. And she does hold the pistol. You can swap that out also. Or you can just have her with the stick and she's firing her little stingers from her gauntlet. I guess you get that rotation more of her hand is straight. Her arm is straight. But then it bends the elbow. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing. And it starting to bend this plastic right here. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing. I wish it could have worked in an like elbow or a bicep rotation. That would have been, been better also. But yeah, I'm not sure this was a web exclusive figure or not. But the articulation for it is disappointing. Okay, here she is with some other Age of Ultron figures. Get your Age of Ultron cap and your Age of Ultron war machine. And here she is next to the Age of Ultron. She Hope. is with the Marvel Legends Black Widow. And here she is with the rest of the figure arts Age of Ultron figures. Okay, there you have it. It's the Black Widow figure I've been mean, waiting for. Um, she does have some good possibility in certain parts. Uh, the arms are very disappointing. I wish we could have got some um, effect parts, like some electric coils to go around her little sticks to give it an electrified look. But I guess it's supposed to be de-energized because her suit is matching the same color as her suit. If it was energized, it probably would have been a lighter shade of blue. Her accessories are nice. I like the guns. They are very cool, but also at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed that they don't holster on her, to our holster. I mean, I don't know why we couldn't have gotten a holster that, that was functional. The face scope looks great. Looks real good. And like I said, at certain angles, it doesn't look like her at all. Kind of like the Chris Evans head for Captain America that we just got from Civil War. In certain angles like Chris Evans and most other angles it does not <laughs> but this one looks mostly like Scar Johansson and in some areas it does not look like Scar Johansson well I recommend it yeah even with the arm articulation and stuff like that there's ways to getting around it around that articulation problem with the shoulders and stuff like that but everything else seems to make up for it it's up to you ultimately I don't have no regrets of getting the figure at all so I do recommend it with caution and knowing that that it does have some limitations to it. All right, y'all. This has been me, Jita. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.